First tonight, divisive words from the Diocese of Providence about Gay Pride Month. Bishop Thomas Tobin tweets that Catholics should not take part in any Pride events, and his comments are getting nationwide backlash. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us live in Providence with Reaction New Tonight. It was just yesterday when dozens of people filled the steps here at City Hall to celebrate the raising of the Pride flag. Less than 24 hours later, Bishop Tobin sent out the tweet. As the Pride flag is up on City Hall, Pride Month is now underway. The morning right after the flag was raised, Bishop Thomas Tobin tweeted the following. A reminder that Catholics should not support or attend LGBTQ Pride Month events held in June. They promote a culture and encourage activities that are contrary to Catholic faith and morals. They are especially harmful for children. The tweet has more than 30,000 replies. The first thing I thought when I woke up and I saw that tweet this morning was why? Joe Lazzarini has been Mr. Gay Rhode Island and is now the president of Rhode Island Pride. There are Catholics all across Rhode Island who support the LGBTQIA plus community. And I honestly think that it's shameful that uh, Bishop Tobin is um, you know, resorting to these attacks um, on the first day of Pride Month on the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. Events will be happening throughout the entire month celebrating Pride. This is video from past year's festivities. Pride is an arm Harmful. Uh, love is not harmful. During our interview, Lazzarini brought attention to the last part of Tobin's tweet, where the bishop writes, Pride events are especially harmful for children. I think he needs to turn around and reflect on the Catholic Church's history of protecting children from priests. Bishop Tobin, I welcome you to come join me at Pride this year. I'll walk you around and I'll show you how beautiful it is myself. And Rhode Island Pride is planning a rally in response to Bishop Tobin's tweet for tomorrow at Cathedral Square. We've reached out to a church spokesperson to see if Bishop Tobin wanted to interview or has any further comment. We have not yet heard back. In Providence, I'm Eric Halperin, Eyewitness News.